Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. My name is The Clumsy Simmer and we are back in Newcrest today and we are building another starter home for my Newcrest series. If you guys do not know then I am completely building Newcrest from top to bottom, residential to community and it's going to be using just the base game. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then definitely subscribe to my channel and make sure that notification bell is rung so that you never miss an episode. And also share it with your friends um, so that they can enjoy it as well. And also leave a like so I know to continue the series. But let's go ahead and get right into this build. This is Starter Home 2 of 2 in Newcrest. Um, the other starter home that I did is right there next to this one and this starter home is actually just one bedroom one bathroom and it's just under two twenty thousand simoleons so if you have one sam you can download this right off the gallery or if you download my save file once i am finished with this series i'm going to share it with you all and you download the save file then you will be able to make your own sam and move right into this house uh that is exactly why i left it uh empty is because i wanted you guys to be able to make your own sam and have a free home to move into but every other house in this neighborhood is going to have a family uh there may be one house of the bigger style that does not have a family just so you have an upgrade house to go into or you can move your own family into that house as well if you don't want to start her home but for the most part every other house is going to be filled up with unique families i do not do a bunch of same families i love a unique game so that is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have all types of sims. And yeah, so this starter home, I almost built a little bit of a porch out front, but I was running out of simoleons and I just didn't like the way it looked. It wasn't worth it, you know? So I went ahead and did away with that little porch and just did a little like step up with the stairs. And I wanted it to be the exact same height as the house next door. And that is like four steps up or five steps up. And and so I did this one like that as well. And I love that green paneling with that brick. I just love that. So I wanted to use that. And it kind of matches the house next door. So my vibe of this build, or the series should I say, is that I want the houses to look matchy. I want them to match, but I don't want them to be cookie cutter. You guys know what I mean. I don't want it to look like I just copy and pasted every single house in the lot. Because that's that's too easy. <laughs> I want to give myself a harder time than that. I have to make myself miserable. That is why I'm doing community lots too, because those make me miserable. I suck at them. I just don't have much practice is what it is. It's not really that I suck. Nobody sucks at anything. It just takes practice. You guys know what I mean? So with that being said, I'm probably going to test out building a community lot with more than just the base game. It's not going to be part of the series, obviously. It's going to be in a different neighborhood and I don't know exactly what I'm going to build yet. We will see, but I need some practice before I just flat out do a base game only from start to finish community lot. You guys don't understand how, how nervous that is making me. I don't know. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I don't know, but I am. So uh, yeah, we are pretty much got the floor plan figured out. Pretty much got the shape of the house figured out. This house shows that there is a chimney, but I don't believe I actually put a chimney in. That's kind of just like a faux chimney. Um, I needed a look. I needed the look of the chimney, you know? It makes that house on the outside look so much better, but um, yeah. So we are pretty much in the backyard now. Um, I'm fiddling around with this tree because I do not like the way that it's kind of over that smaller tree. I don't know, I guess that is pretty realistic. I may go back to that other build at some point and just delete that tree because it's kind of not needed now that I have that bigger one. It does go back into that other corner, the other like side of the yard, like the left side of the yard. And so since that tree is there, I'm probably just going to delete that smaller tree that's in the other yard. Cause it's, it's really not needed and it's a little bit too many uh, trees. Not that I really ever say it's too many trees because the more trees, the more gardeny foliage, you know, the better the build looks. It really does. <laughs> I don't know why it just looks fuller and it looks super pretty. So I love putting out a bunch of trees and a bunch of flowers and bushes and stuff. And this house, I don't know, like your Sam definitely looks like they're into gardening when they buy this house. However, there is no planter plot pots in this house. I didn't have enough simoleons for that, but those are like cheap. So as soon as your Sim gets a, a job, they can 
definitely buy those planter pots quickly. And you don't even need planter pots anyways to garden. Um, you can just stick the flower or the fruit or the vegetable right onto the ground and have you sim plant it. And voila, they have a little bit of a garden and they didn't have to spend any money on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, all of this landscaping, by the way, is from Debug. Um, by the way, my dog is over there chewing on a plastic bottle. Um, so excuse me if you hear something in the background. Uh, I have stopped a couple times to get onto her, but she's just being a pain in the butt today. You know how dogs are. I have three dogs, actually, and they're, they're all three boxers. Um, so if you guys know anything about boxers, you probably think I'm crazy, but I love them. And we had two of them. They had puppies, and so, of course, I had to keep one. And so that is how I got three. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, they're awesome. They're just, they're a lot of work, but I don't care. I love them. And so, yeah, this floor plan, I actually am pretty happy with how it turned out. It has a hallway. And so it's like you walk in and there's the living room off to the right. And then there is a hallway like right ahead of you. And that is where it takes you to the bathroom, the bedroom and the kitchen slash dining room. Honestly, that hallway probably wasn't needed, but I thought it kind of broke off the living room and kitchen a little bit. So it just... It kind of worked out that way. Um, it's not that I planned it that way. <laughs> it just happens. And um, here in a little bit, I actually expand the house a tad tiny bit because the kitchen was a little bit too cramped. And so you'll see me do that here in a little bit. And I was actually able to fit a dining room in here as well. And it's like the little four person table right there. That ends up staying. I think I changed the color. I can't remember if I changed the color or not, but I know I don't change the type of chair. That's just the cheapest base game one. I know like, and they don't look that bad either. <laughs> There's definitely uglier chairs in the game. They just look like they'd be really hard. You know, if you sat in it, it's like, it would make your butt hurt after a while. But, oh, I did put a fireplace. Okay, and so there is a fireplace. It's not just a faux fireplace, it's real. And um, I think I actually, expanded oh i didn't expand okay so i didn't expand i just made the living room smaller <laughs> i made the living room smaller and moved the bathroom over and now that little dining area has like a little section on its own and i actually am really happy with the way that that floor plan turned out it's pretty interesting because it's kind of like it's got a bunch of like corners <laughs> you know it's not just strict walls like strict straight walls you know what i mean it's got like curves and corners and it looks more like a actual realistic house in my opinion um i can't stand when i'm building a house and some of the rooms are like one long wall and that's kind of how it shows in the bedroom now that i'm looking at it but i mean what can i do that's kind of how the room is shaped and I can't afford to get no more windows. Uh, we're on a strict, strict budget here. And it also, I could have filled it up with like wall decor, but like I've said previously, base game slim pickings on that. And also it's just, I ran out of simoleons, okay? I can only do so much with these starter homes. I think there are some free artwork and stuff in Debug. I really need to start checking that out. I actually just downloaded the, um, what's it called? The the Better Build Buy from Tex Mexi. I actually just downloaded that. I've had it previously and it worked, but then I had to go back after an update to the game and reinstall it. And that's just a little bit too much work for me. Um, I know that sounds bad, but it's true. That's why I don't do a lot of mods in CC. It's just, especially CC, because I don't want just one CC here. I have to have like a hundred of them, you know? And that's just a lot, you know, to go back and have to figure out what is broken once something breaks, and it's just too much. And honestly, I'm quite happy with the way that the cast is and the build by. Both the Create a Sam and the build by is pretty, uh, you know, pretty. There's plenty of stuff for every type of style for both base game and Create a Sam. They do great with base game and Create a Sam. Or not base game. I'm sorry. 
uh, build buy and create a sam. They do great with build buy and create a sam, but the gameplay is always lacking. And that's probably why I get bored playing the actual game. I find myself building way more often or just being in create a sim way more often. It's, uh, yeah, the gameplay just gets old after a while. And it makes me quite sad because that's how I fell in love with The Sims in the first place was the gameplay in The Sims 2. I loved it. But, um, yeah, so as you guys can see, I chose to take those pavements out of debug and put them out and i haven't done that in forever i used to do it all the time but i haven't done it in forever and this is a starter home so i had limited fun so this was the perfect opportunity to do it and i love the way that those paved stones make like the side of the house look when you put them out it just looks so pretty and like detailed you know so honestly how this house turned out i think it's really cute um it's very green and white <laughs> And it's definitely something, it really looks like a, a gardener or someone that loves to garden lives here. And I actually, as you guys seen me put out that computer that does end up staying. So this starter home has a one bedroom, but it does have a TV and a computer. And so it has plenty of stuff for your Sim to be able to do entertainment wise and skill building. I believe I do put a bookcase or if not like an actual bookcase I put like that stack of books out that um, you just put on a table but I think I put an actual bookcase um, but yeah we are actually nearing the end now and so I really hope you guys enjoyed this build as well as my new crest series um, like I was saying in the beginning definitely leave a like on this video and subscribe if you do enjoy it because I'll be doing the whole new crest I'm not gonna stop I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna keep doing it <laughs> and um, I'm having fun with it so far too so I hope you guys are enjoying it as well so a big thank you to my 72 subscribers and to those of you who have made it this far in this video so you guys are the best. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. Night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine.